This is too much aspartame for me. I'm going insane. Aspartame. Is there such thing as an aspartame trip? Can the editor put effects on here that looks like it's an aspartame trip? Yeah, go for it. Yeah. Ooh, I feel skinny. I've been duped. What's up, kids? The Rank King is back. And today we are ranking the most pop, pop, popular sodas. That's right, we've got 14 of the top sodas in the world, and I'm gonna rank them from best to worst. Huh. Mm. What? Oh no. What did I just do? <laughs> <laughs> I'm right, you're wrong. Shut up, bitch. I'm trying to spice it up a little bit. We are here very early in the morning, so I'm gonna get real hype on caffeine. Real hype. I used to drink a lot of soda, as many children do, and then I became an adult and stopped, unless it was a cocktail. I'm excited, I have not had this much soda since I was 13. And when I was 13, I was still in the closet. <laughs> uh, but I'm still depressed. <laughs> Maybe that's why created a show where I judge things from the safety of an emotional distance. I put things in order because my own life is in such disarray. Shut up. Bitch. I'm gonna judge these sodas based on three different criteria. Number one, the branding. How does the label look? How iconic is the soda through its advertising? Two, the ah factor. That's right, when I take my first sip, you're gonna hear my natural reaction. Finally, and most importantly, criteria number three, the taste. It all comes down to that flavor, baby. Coke. <laughs> so anime. Coke. Of course we have to start with the iconic Coca-Cola. Everyone knows Coke, because in the South we call all soda Coke. It's that oppressive of a soda. Also, for each soda, our dear friend Sam is gonna come in and hit us with the facts. Hello, facts man. Hello. It's Sam, he's the facts man. You oh, you got a little pepper in your teeth. Oh, no. oh God, I had an everything uh, bagel. Oh no. <laughs> uh, la laugh. I'm the person who will tell you when there's something in your teeth. And I'm a good friend. Are wow. you ready to have your mind blown? Yeah, blow me, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> Coke is the most widely distributed product on the planet. Did anyone watch Mad Men? Do y'all know where he like develops that famous Coke ad from the 60s at the end? It's like spread the love with Coke. This shit has been indoctrinating us since the 60s. Good on them. First criteria, the branding. Y'all. Who doesn't know Coca-Cola? This is the first soda you probably drank as a child and the last one you probably had. Also, they make you believe that polar bears will drink this shit. Polar bears are trying to survive. They're not drinking Coke. They're trying to like find one seal. Well, now I'm sad about those commercials. Don't they always come out during Christmas, those commercials? Are all polar bears Christian according to Coca-Cola? What about the Jewish polar bears? <laughs> Coke. <laughs> Criteria two, the Factor. Let's get full quiet, because this is the best thing about opening a can of soda. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my nipples just got hard. <sighs> that was fing good. Wow, that was a top notch. Uh, that sounded like I should be hired for voiceovers for that. That was good. The taste is. Oh God, it's just so good. It's sugary and syrupy and bubbly, and I don't know, it's just like its own flavor category. Mm, there's a lot of sugar in here. I gotta put it up relatively high to start. I won't put it at the top, but I'm gonna put him right here. Y'all know what's coming up next. It's soda number two, Pepsi. The battle of the Titans. We got Coke and we got Pepsi. Two of the biggest food companies in the world. They're very powerful. This is like monopolizing a lot of what we eat and drink. Did you know in 1893, Pepsi was invented to help cure indigestion? That's probably wrong. You're wrong. Number one, let's talk about the branding. Who doesn't remember the Gladiator themed Super Bowl commercial with Britney, Pink, and Beyonce? Where, yeah, the emperor was Enrique Iglesias. They have Literally some of the best pop culture commercials until that Kendall Jenner thing. Oh yeah, nice. It wasn't as good as Coke. You know why I think the off actor was less bright than Coke was 
This is way more sugary tasting. Oh, this has citric acid and this does not, which might explain the sugary taste. It almost has a lemony taste. Yeah, I guess that really comes down to preference because there are some people out there who will be mad in the comments who really, really love Pepsi. But I think all of you might be objectively wrong. I'm sorry. I just don't think Pepsi is as good as Coke. Bit, so we'll, we'll put Pepsi right here. Soda number three. Sprite, please welcome to the Rank King stage, Mr. Keith Douglas Hammersberger. Thank you, thank you. Eugene, has the audience seen your full outfit yet? No. You look like Malibu Ken. Thanks. You look so cute. Thanks. Oh my goodness, it's very summery, okay. It is? Well then, he's right. Oh. Oh, Keith, we got a special hat for you. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, yeah. I've never actually used one of these hats. It's facts, man. Did you know that a university in China found in a research study that Sprite is a cure for a hangover? Really? What? The, a research what? center? In China? In China? In China? In China? In China? In China? Keith, why do you like Sprite branding? All Sprite commercials are strong black men playing basketball on the street. Like all of them. And then they get so thirsty. <laughs> and then they, they sip a big Sprite and there's like a solar flare behind them. And th this is all of them. <laughs> I want Sprite to endorse me. You can't How play I basketball. Do. No, I don't, I'll show that it's not just for basketball players. It's also for people like in their car. You have a nice cold Sprite in a hot car. Woo! You ready? <sighs> Pretty good. Not as big as Coke. Is there something about Sprite that makes it taste like a little metallic? I don't know, I haven't tasted a Sprite in a long time. Well, look at your hat, buddy. Well, help me out, okay. crack my noggin. That'd be really Just rain down Sprite over my head. Just to get the Sprite sponsorship you want, um, give us the catchphrase that you wanna get Sprite to sponsor you, and then take your, your, your chug. Ooh. <laughs> What's your catchphrase? Catch right. It'll get all over the place. I'm going to put it in the current ranking right between these two. I think that's fair. It is like starter Pokemon. Oh. Ah. Ah. But Squirtle's way better than Pepsi. Yeah, typically. But Charmander people like that. Charmander people like I get that. Thanks for coming in and making oh, a mess Oh, thank you so yourself. much. My hands are sticky and now yours are sticky too. Seven Up, Fax Man, get back in here. So the original name for Seven Up was Bib La Belle Lithiated Lemon Lime Soda, and it was created as a formula used for mood stabilizing. So another like medicinal wow. formula. All these sodas were medicinal. How wrong they were. But I also guess we thought smoking was okay. We were so stupid. We're still probably stupid. Yeah, yeah we probably yeah. still are. The branding. What is this weird red ball? Does anyone know what the red, weird red ball is on 7up? Can someone Google what the weird red circle on the 7up can is? There was a mascot that was a red ball. Oh, I remember him. So apparently the 7up mascot was a red ball who wore sunglasses. 7up, does anyone have any association with 7up? Does anyone feel anything towards 7up besides cocktails? Oh yeah, heads up 7up, which is the game where you do this, right? And you do this, and then what do you do? You punch the person? It was just like a way for your teachers to get you to be Oh, what? Oh. <laughs> what game was I playing? And if you put your thumb down, you got punched or something? No. Why were people punching me then? <laughs> Eugene. Were they just punching me because I was a patsy and they just told me we were playing a game just to hit me? They just told me that we were friends just to hit me? Let's try the off actor. Kind of was like Sprite. Huh, the flavor. You often don't just stick these two together and try them, but I immediately get way more citrus in this. Would LeBron James drink this after he, after a game? I don't know. I'm gonna put seven up above Pepsi, but I think I'm gonna put it below Sprite. Next soda, Ceramist. My next ranking guest is none other than the man, the myth. Please welcome Miles Bone Signore. Hey, so happy to be here. Your strings are uneven. Well, I'm an uneven. Get off. I'm an uneven type of guy. Get right. out. I'll see you guys later. Fix it. Yeah, just gonna, just gonna, I'm just gonna.
You didn't even amount. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This well, is nice. Wow, your nipples were hard. <laughs> they always are. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. Sierra Mist. In 2004, it became official that Sierra Mist is the second most drank lemon lime soda in the world. After Sprite? Get the f out of I'm here. I'm gone. <laughs> I like Sierra Mist for a couple reasons. I like just a lot of carbonation, not a ton of flavor, because I feel like some of these sodas you drink it and your mouth, yeah. but this is minimal flavor, maximum reward. It always kind of looked like your aunt would buy this soda. And my aunt always did. She did? She did. I did, she, did she pass? No. She still does. Oh. <laughs> See that squirt? Yeah, it squirted hard. <laughs> that was ASMR. All of these lemon line sodas kind of fell on the same mm -hmm. muddled but middle ground ah. But I can't go so far as to put it above Sprite. Really? So I think okay, he's gonna right. go, I think Sierra Miss is gonna right. Diet Coke. Oh man. My heart's like not liking all this sugar. Okay. Let's get our uh, fax man in here. Fax man. Here's a fun one for you kids to try at home. A can of Diet Coke will float in water while a can of regular Coke will sink. Why? Your guess is as good as mine. I thought you were the fax man. I They had the answers. <sighs> I don't know if Diet Coke even needs that much branding because they have like generic commercials. What they have is a hardcore legion of fans. Diet Coke has a culture around it for some reason. ASMR. All right, let's try the off factor. That was the saddest one. I don't see the appeal of this taste. What is it about it? It tastes like, it tastes like metal. It tastes chemically. It doesn't taste natural. What the fuck is this flavor? Aspartame. So aspartame's fake sugar. That's what it is? What are you putting in your body? Magic dust? Wait, where's Will? Get him in here. I need Will in here right now. In a rare ranking exclusive, Will, I'm gonna let you rant uncut about aspartame and Diet Coke for the next, until I say stop. So my mom has this whole thing about aspartame. She's like, gives me a headache. But then my friends in college, they drink like 12 Diet Cokes every day. My friend Trevor legitimately drinks 12 a day. And there's like a cabal of people who drink this like weird serum. Aspartame is bad. It does kill rats in large doses, okay? Whatever, whatever they put in here, once you get hooked, it's just like, you're just buying it forever. This doesn't taste better than any of this. It just doesn't. It tastes no. weird. Oh, absolutely. Well, now it kind of tastes normal. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the thing, you get, you get used to yeah, it. Yeah, okay. That's what happened. My, it's like I got hypnotized by my fucking Diet Coke cabal friends. They have a weird cult. They do rituals where they just pour Diet Coke on each other, just covered in sticky aspartame. Like It sounds like the marketing worked, and it sounds like the drugs are working, which do I give points for effective villainy? I think this is one of the most controversial sodas and people didn't know. If y'all didn't know, this shit's controversial. Yeah. <laughs> You know what, I'm gonna put it right here right now. Thanks, Will. Wow. Glad to be here. How did it get into third place? What has Will done to my mind? <laughs> Next. Wait, are you throwing it already? Okay. Ew, I don't want this one. I'm not gonna look, okay, go. <laughs> well, continuing the diet sodas from the big two, we got Diet Pepsi. So in 1963, when Diet Pepsi first came into the market and was being tested it, when they considered calling it, Patio. Like a, <laughs> like the back part of your deck? That was, yep, exactly. Patio. If Soda's decided to have drag names, they're like, I'm oh. Patio. Yeah, put some furniture on me and sit on it, I'm Patio. I mean, I do like the sleekness, the graphic design is minimal, yada yada yada, my millennial brain. <clears throat> Diet Pepsi, I can't, I don't know any commercial about that. Do they even advertise Diet Soda? I don't, I don't even know. Are they allowed to? Because they know that there is aspartame in it. <laughs> this shit's got aspartame in it too. I don't think I've ever had a Diet Pepsi. Your mom loves Diet Pepsi? Diet Pepsi. Sam and Jonathan, both of your moms love Diet Pepsi. With a lime. With a lime, and they don't know each other. Is this, is this a white mom drink? That excites me, I'm ready. I'm ready to see what all the fuss is about amongst the middle-aged ladies named Barbara. The ah factor. Happy Pepsi diet. Did 
anything come out? Oh, what are y'all doing? Why, what are you doing? I gotta compare it to the Diet Coke. That's where it goes right now. I'm so sorry to your moms. I mean, I hope you raised your kids with better taste. Barks! Ow, f that hurt. To join us for the next Try Guest, it's our special friend and yours. He made the babies and he has the, the wife. It's Ned Fulmer! What's up, YouTube? Eugene, root beer, Barkquiz. Barkquiz. I uh, hate a fact, man. All right, I don't have a fact this round. Uh, I have a quiz. Oh, you ready? Okay. Yeah. Oh. Root beer gets its name from two original root flavors. Ooh. Do you know either of those roots? <laughs> Definitely not. No, we're gonna try it. So you we'll name one and I'll name one. <clears throat> I think it's a very southern drink. Mm -hmm. What does it start with? Uh, S. Both are S. Sarsaparilla. <gasps> Sarsaparilla. That's one. That's one. S -s Sassafras. I'm Texas. Two. Bitch. We got, we got it. it. Yeah. We got it. Yeah. Florida. Florida. Texas. 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 Sounds like we have, we have a sitcom now. Yeah. I'm Sarsaparilla. I'm Sassafras. And we're just a two bunch of junkies. Two roots in a beer. First thing we talk about is the branding. So it's not going to be Coke, sure, but it has all of the qualities of Coke with none of the caffeine. Are you getting too hopped up on Coca-Cola because you're just drinking it for the caffeine? What if you drank it for the taste and the sugar? This has caffeine in it. What? No way. What? Caffeine content. You ready? <sighs> and this is the first time I think I'm really trying root beer clean. At That's least. cool. If I had it as a child, I don't remember it. I'm gonna try this root beer for the first time and we'll see where it goes. Huh? Huh? What? What? That's root beer? That's root beer? It's vanilla-y and a little spicy. That's the nasty. I kind of like this. You know I hate agreeing with you, but I think I like it. He really likes it. Eugene! You know what? Wow. I think I'm putting it right here. What? Well, I'm so honored. I'm so honored. People like die for Diet Coke, and wow. Oh, what a twist twists. and turns. What a twist. Everywhere. Ow. Oh, I'm sorry. <clears throat> it's all right. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it it massages your brain. Yeah. In a super cool way. Thing. Mm, that's nice. Ginger ale. I like anything ginger flavored. Ginger snaps, ginger bread, ginger spice. Is that an Asian thing? No, it's Cherry Hallowell. Um... Oh, liking ginger? Yeah. I thought like, is it an Asian thing to prefer ginger spice? No, I actually really liked posh spice growing up because obviously, but I always, I loved, I love all the spice girls. <coughs> Ooh. Mm. It tasted like everything. It smelled like it too. In 2018, a woman filed a lawsuit against Canada Dry because it didn't actually have ginger in it. It doesn't have ginger in it? Did she win? That I don't know, but it comes out of Florida, so. Oh, well, f that lady, like whatever. <laughs> I'm wet. <sighs> that was good, solid, kind of deeper. I love ginger ale but after downing these super sugary sodas, it does taste a little boring. You know what ginger ale is for me is also like a flight drink. The thing about it, like 35,000 feet in the air, it tastes right. I'm gonna put ginger ale right here right now. I haven't tried Diet Coke again. I'm gonna try this aspartame again. Ugh, oh God, it's so bad. And now it's not as bad again. Next soda, Sunkist. Orange soda. Oh wait, come in here, fax man. All right, <laughs> Sunkist is the top selling orange soda. Wow, so it 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 sells more than Crush and it sells more than Fanta. Mm -hmm. Fanta, Fanta, Fanta. I say Fanta. I say Fanta. Am I wrong? It's both. It's both. Cool. It's a verse. <laughs> <laughs> we love a verse. Woo! <laughs> All oh, right, sorry. later. <laughs> I wish I was more verse. You know, sometimes you feel like you just, you're not, you know, you're not doing both parts as much as you should. 
I just have a lot of control issues, you know? Like I instinctively lock all my doors every night because I don't want people breaking in. So think about that when it comes to bottoming. Just got a lot of hangups about it. But I want to get better. I should I should allow someone to bur burglarize my house more. Yeah, come through my back door. Zach's currently out of office, but he did pre-record his defense, his championing of orange soda. Hey Eugene, sorry I can't be there in person. But I have to argue for the best soda of them all. I'm talking about orange soda. Orange soda's great. It's funny, it's orange. Keenan and Kel loved it. Who loves orange soda? I like having the ability to pause Zach. You know, he rambles, he rambles. It's not because I dislike, I love Zach. It's just he's a rambler. The rest of us have cadences, like Keith. You know when to come in. With Zach, there's no entry. Terrible bottom. Mmm. 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 It was weird because a wave of nostalgia just hit me, but then my mouth caught up to it, and this tastes just like an orange Skittle. I think it's Pepsi's better than it, man. I'm putting it down there. Next soda. Wanna Fanta? Don't you wanna wanna Fanta? Don't you wanna wanna Fanta? To tell me a Fanta fun fact, here is our facts man. Fantas were invented in 1938 Nazi Germany. Mm. To go a little bit more in depth, it was invented in the German Coca-Cola plant and the guy who invented it, he didn't have all the ingredients to make the proper Coke and ended up coming up with the orange Fanta. Was he a Nazi? We did a little research. He himself was not a Nazi, but in the, oh, in the country of, okay. yeah, in the regime, I, I he was- feel better about yeah, it Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. It's that would've been a crazy fact. Yeah. Here's your Nazi drink. Oof. Here to defend Fanta are none other than Kaylin, YB in Alexandria. Fanta, Fanta, don't, don't you want, want a Fanta, 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 don't you want a Fanta, Fanta. Fanta. Y'all remember the commercials with the Fanta ladies? They were all in the main colors of these flavors. I grew up in Korea, right? And mm -hmm. they had, it was really popular in Korea, the orange Fanta. I was so into the commercials that in middle school, I made my first email address, which mm. was wantafanta24 oh at sbcglobal.net, and I still have it. <laughs> And you can email Alexandria right now. <laughs> and I'll probably respond. <laughs> oh. Orange Fanta. Let's see how this tastes. Oh. <laughs> I think okay. I immediately like that better than the Sunkist. Based on us. I'm gonna try the pineapple flavor. My brother said that's the best Fanta. Mm. <laughs> I'm suspicious of this one. Mmm. Maybe I'm just delighted because I haven't had a lot of fruit flavors, but. I don't like that one. This tastes like a, a, a flavor drink that Asians especially would like. Yeah. 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 It's okay. like almost That's melon. Not me. It's almost, it's almost <laughs> melony. That's not me, I guess. All right, well, let's try <laughs> Let's try the strawberry Fanta. There. Oh. So what we do know is the orange Fanta is a better orange soda than the Sunkist. For sure. For now, I'm gonna put them right under Diet Coke. Well, ladies, there's only one thing you can do now. You got a conga line out of here. Wanna Fanta? Don't you wanna wanna Fanta? Don't you wanna wanna Fanta? Sing! We brought a Fanta. Don't you wanna wanna Fanta? Why you're not singing? Uh. <laughs> Why aren't you singing, YB? How many more do we have? My brain is falling apart. Cherry Coke. Cherry Coke. Yes, we have a variation of Coke that is quite popular. And for this one, we're gonna have none other than our producer, Rachel, come champion it. You, you look like a Cherry Coke person. So I wasn't a Cherry Coke person mm -hmm. until I started growing two humans in my body last year. Ew, I mean, <laughs> sorry. I mean, I mean, I mean, oh, congratulations. I wasn't having that much coffee. I couldn't have any wine. What did I find? I found Cherry Coke. Facts Man. Facts Man. Cherry Coke is the first of flavored Coke products. It was introduced in 1982 at the World Fair in Knoxville, Tennessee, but wasn't made famous until none other than gay mama herself, Lana Del Rey, 
started singing about it. Really? I added that myself. Just, oh. just <laughs> I don't. Facts man has gone off I've the gone rails. off the rails. This always was one of those things where when you went to the vending machine, you were excited when they had it because it was like that special favorite. It's like when M&Ms came out with like crispy M&Ms. Yeah. Let's do the ah factor. This is gonna be a tough one. I already feel it. <sighs> that was a great mm, ah. I don't know what it is about Cokes, man. They really, not, ooh, that cherry flavor. Oh no. <laughs> It's strong. <laughs> that cherry flavor is not subtle. It's a little stronger than I thought it would be. It is. Right? I'm really bothered by the aftertaste. I was I rooting was for you. We were all rooting for you. How dare you? How dare you? you? I can't remember the rest of the Tyra quote. Okay, so honoring your beautiful daughters. For now, before I close ranks, I'm gonna put Cherry Coke here. That is very generous and kind. I'm gonna put it above Diet Coke and below Ginger ale. For now. Just two more? Oh, fuck, not this one. Oh, no. Mountain Dew! When did they make it mutton? When you talk about branding, Mountain Dew, every commercial when I was growing up was like someone doing a stunt in a race car or like biking off a cliff and they're catching a Mountain Dew. Keith, you would know. Usually associated with Mountain Dew. If a Coke had like yellow something. Yellow five. Yellow five. What made did it? Dick tiny. Made your dick tiny. No. Did you guys know about that? that all was a rumor in the South. All the boys five. would talk about it. You make the dick tiny because everyone was drinking chugging Mountain Dew and you're like, it takes me tiny. I haven't had a Mountain Dew in years. I feel like my heart's gonna stop. The ah uh, factor. Already it's just electric yellow. Do the do. <laughs> this tastes very close to like a um Do you remember in your brain if it was like that is as a kid, I was like, oh man, I'm drinking Mountain Dew, I'm crazy. Compared to that, this is like, I'm honey boo boo crazy. Like when I had this as a kid, I literally thought I was doing heroin. But it's not heroin, it's... Here, just take a sip. Just take a sip real quick, Rachel. Go on the mother. Jesus, Mountain Dew. Guys, Mountain That's Dew not is not bad. F me. Oh my God. Am I gonna rank Mountain Dew higher than I thought? Whoa. Do the do, bitches. All right, guys, I am thrown for a loop. We have one more soda left. It's the one you've been waiting for. It's the one that everyone loves to go. When you get sick, who do you go to? Dr. Pepper. Facts man for the last time. Get over here, Sam. Wait, you haven't gotten to champion a drink. Oh, and it, this is mine. This, this is, is yours? This is mine. Tax man, it's like you've been here all along <laughs> waiting I to talk about fun. Dr. Pepper. Yeah, Dr. Pepper is the only soda I will guzzle. <laughs> now I gotta tell you. Mm. I hated Dr. Pepper as a kid. So I don't think I've had a Dr. Pepper since I was five. Just smelling it, I'm like, I remember this. Mm, I don't like the sound of that. Here we go. <sighs> Not a bad op. I'm gonna tell you right now the two flavors I immediately taste. Some sort of cherryish flavor, like a berry or cherry, and almond. Those are the two. Boom. And the more I drink it, the more I'm discovering things. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm kinda liking it. Yeah. You know, it's like I'm kinda like I'm questioning myself. Ah. We've been there. <laughs> Do <remind me. laughs> mm. The same like spicy uniqueness as root beer, but less vanilla, mm -hmm. more berry. <gasps> I'll put it there right now. It was so great seeing all of my Try Guys and Try staff, all the friends here at the office, uh, but none of their opinions matter anymore. I think a few changes need to be made. Let's get ready to close ranks. Oh, f what did I do? What is this? You know what? No. No. Sorry, Diet Coke fans. Wait, okay. Oh, this is confused. This is very confusing. I'm, because every time I taste this, this f***ing magic, 
it sucks and then it's okay and then I like it and then I hate it. Like right now? It's like I got hypnotized by my fucking Diet Coke cabal friends. They have a weird cult. I really didn't taste bad. But the first time I just had it, it was awful. This is... Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Mmm. I need to compare it to the lemon limes. Oh, baby, yeah, solid. Oh, uh, gonna. I, th I think that's right. Fanta's pretty good. Yeah. I'm gonna check this cherry coke again. Yeah, I'm dropping cherry coke below Fanta. Am I happy with the rest of this? This is the final ranking. The rank king has spoken. Wow, what surprises, what twists, what turns. How the hell did Diet Coke end up in the middle of the pack? I know a lot of you love it. I know a lot of you hate it. I experienced both. At the number one spot, we have the classic, the Titan, Coca-Cola. And if you go all the way down, it's direct competitor in the diet version, Diet Pepsi. Sorry, moms of America. It's not good. Do you do, do you agree? <laughs> do you disagree? Then leave a comment below. I'm right. You're wrong. Shut up, shithead. <laughs> nope, nicer. I'm right. You're wrong. Shut up, dickwad. Nope. Okay. I'm right. You're wrong. Shut up. Vagina monologue. Wait, what? I don't know. Also, I didn't get much sleep last night because my new dog, Kimbap, his one thing we found out is he humps. He Not humps. other dogs, he humps dolls. I think it's cute. Except his lipstick comes out when he does it. That is not cute. I don't not like the cute. lipstick. Like, boop.